Okay, can we not talk about that right now? This is my personal time. Please only call me when there's an emergency. I have everything under control. Yes, mother, this too shall pass. Fine, what are their vitals? I gotta... Tyler, call Dr. Lateo, and I'll follow up in a few hours, okay? Trust, Trust me, me on this. this. I gotta go. Oh, oh, Jesus! I think the proper term is excuse me. Well, I... I, go. I would say excuse me, but you bumped into me. <clears throat> Can I help you? No. Okay then. Move along. Could you scooch? I would like to sit at the bench. So, come to this bench often? Maybe. Good talk. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry for spooking you. I'm Logan. Gulaf? Is in the culinary prodigy? <laughs> Sabrina. As in Spellman, the witch? <laughs> yeah, well, as a matter of fact, Ow. on Halloween, I love to cast spells on people. Mm, really? Yeah. What kind? Oh, just the usual, you know, resurrections, healings, protection spells. You know, one time this lady she brought me a deceased man, and I, and I took my hand, and I put him on his chest, and I brought him back to life in less than two minutes. What? <laughs> I'm a surgeon. Oh, 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 I get it. Halloween. Mm. It's funny. And the chef thought I was serious. No comment. Dr. Sabrina, Dr. Sabrina. Hi, sweetheart. How's she doing? Oh, Lexi's doing amazing. Thanks for putting my family back together again. You are welcome. Hi, I'm David. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Bernie, Bernie. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Bernie, Bernie. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Bernie, Come on, Bernie. Come on, Lexi. <laughs> He's probably not a Muppets fan. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm not actually in a costume. I own a family restaurant called The Clever Chef. Really? Mm -hmm. You know, I heard about that. Great reviews. Yeah, I wrote those. <laughs> yeah, we are known for our unique flavor profiles and our artistic meals. Mm. So, what's the special for tonight? Oh, well, for Halloween, we have a scary mac and cheese. Ooh. Yeah, with a side of eyeballs. Really? Well, the eyeballs aren't real. <laughs> yeah. Family restaurant, get yeah, it. Yeah, it's expensive. It's funny. That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious, why do you... Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? How? 
I'm on my way. I'm sorry. There's an emergency at the hospital. I understand. It was good chatting. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Is that your broom in a handicap spot? Hey, Gordon. Sabrina. It's Logan, by the way. I'm very aware of that. I was joking. I was wondering when we were going to bump into each other again. Have you been coming here more often? Maybe a little. Me too. Maybe. So how's the restaurant biz? Uh, it's good. Yeah, things were hectic when we met, but... Mm. Better now, I hope? Yeah, we pulled through. Good. So what are you doing for Thanksgiving dinner? Uh, just working. The usual. You? Yeah, same, per usual. Saving lives. The important stuff. <laughs> You know, you'd be surprised at how many forks don't end up in turkeys on Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the holidays have a way of bringing out the worst in people. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the truth? You know, I, I'm curious. Mm. How do you come uh, to... Sorry. Of course. Hey. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. No. That is not right. Okay, I'm gonna come in. No, 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 it's fine. I'll be right there. Uh, Sabrina, I'm sorry, I gotta run. I understand. Logan, before you go, what do you think about you know, grabbing coffee sometime? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good luck with those forks. Yeah, well, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, Logan. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Why didn't you call me? Are you married? No. Separated? No. Living with somebody? No. Girlfriend? No. It's just the holidays were a really busy time and then it became a couple of weeks, and then it became awkward to call, and... 
text? Have you heard of texting? I've, I've heard of it and I thought about doing it, but then I thought that would look like I'm just trying to hook up with you, so I just didn't. Did you know I was here? No. I come here to relax. Same. Hey, well, let's relax now. Okay. Let's relax. Okay, I'm relaxed. So what do you make of this whole running into each other three holidays in a row? I think the universe is trying to tell us something. No, it's coincidence. Maybe. How's the life-saving biz? Oh, this time of year we call it tumor season. I know. Lots come in, but nothing I can't handle. And that's what I admire about you. Oh? Your confidence. Thank you. What are you doing for New Year's? I just typically volunteer at the hospital. Mm. But... I think you should have some fun. Would you rather go out instead? I'm, I'm, I don't do this dating thing very well. I mean, I don't have time for it. Do you hear sleigh bells? I hear sleigh bells. Well, okay. Okay, why don't we meet at the bench? New Year's Eve, and no structure, no commitment. Let's just wing it. Okay, what time? Ask the universe. Or better yet, text me this time. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hey, Sabrina, it's me. Uh, just calling you better than texting. So I'm here whenever you want. Are you sleeping? Mm. Logan? I'm just resting my eyes. It's been a long night. Well, scooch over. I have something to say. <laughs> this once a month thing, it's not working for me. You're saying you want to do seasonal? Oh. What, you don't want to be friends anymore? It's not bad. We, you know, we met here, we got acquainted here, developed a connection here. There's no peer-reviewed scientific data that supports any of this, okay? <laughs> I don't get it. Do you? Well, yeah, I do. And I think it feels right. Well, I'm a skeptic, okay? And you're a stalker. Oh, well, and you're obviously a sociopath being a surgeon. Exactly. That's right. Well, what are the odds of two freaks meeting here three holidays in a row? Four. Uh, well, yeah. I think we're being brought together. Come on. By what? Whom? Uh, kismet, fate, destiny, serendipity. I mean, how do you feel about me? How I feel about you? Mm -hmm. I feel really comfortable around you, Logan. I need to know something. Why don't you come here? Um, my work is stressful. 
And whenever I feel like I can't take it, I come here and I soak in all of this and I'm able to get through the day. And I'm able to figure out whatever it is that I'm supposed to figure out. That's exactly why I come here. There's peace here, isn't there? Yeah. There seems to be an order about life, from the most minuscule of detail to the grandest. Whether it's the web spiders spend hours weaving, or the constellations way up in the sky, we don't really have an answer to any of these formations, but we are given the gift of noticing them. And maybe from simple observance, we can find comfort in knowing that for whatever reason things happen, we are part of the design. Not by magic or happenstance, but by intention. You Were Taller Over the Phone video series takes a closer look at the most difficult stage of dating, the beginning. From writing a compelling profile to being your greatest and highest self to getting that first phone conversation, first date, second, third date, and beyond. It's not hard to meet someone. We just make it hard. If you like this story, please subscribe to our channel and be sure to click on that little bell so you're notified the next time we post a video so you can be one of the very first to watch it. And like and share with your friends and family and colleagues and maybe even comment below and share a little bit about your own experience about this particular subject matter. Thanks so much and I hope to see you again soon. Oh, meanwhile, please do something loving for yourself today. hold it for the stroke of midnight okay <laughs> okay yeah can't be too far away <laughs> made me wait for a long time <laughs>